Spoiler warning for the final boss of Final Fantasy 16. Hey there everybody, Manly Starman here. Welcome to part 11 of my Hunger Games series. This time, featuring the main heroes and villains of the mainline Final Fantasy games 1 through 16. Just a few quick things to point out before we get started here. I shorthanded the Warrior of Light's name just to W-O-L, just for space really. I'm not sure if this site has a character limit for what you can input for names, but yeah, it just looked better instead of like having a really long name for him. Same thing for Cloud of Darkness over here. Scrolling down to the bottom of the page, you see I did include 11 and 14. Uh, from 11, apparently the Shadow Lord guy is the main villain, I think, of the vanilla original Final Fantasy XI story. I, I don't know, I haven't played the MMOs. I had to get input from a friend to choose Elitibus? Elitibus? Elitibus from 14 here, because I have, I have, I don't know anything about 11 and 14 other than what hasn't been in other games and Dissidia and stuff. And lastly, to quickly take a look at 13, uh, Lightning's in her Lightning Returns attire because all of, almost all of these renders are from Dissidia and T. As for my villain choice for 13, I decided to go with Caius Ballad, mainly because I wasn't really sure who to go with otherwise. I mean, kind of like as a funny joke like I did with the Rivals video when I threw in the world, I probably could have threw in Orphan or something. But screw that, I actually like Kaya, so I want to see him here. As for who I'm voting for, I'm once again going to play favorites. I'm going to hope that Cecil or Goldez here wins from Final Fantasy IV, just because it's my personal favorite game in the series. I hope at least one of them does well. But with all that out of the way, let us proceed to the bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. The Emperor scares Squall away. Terra runs. COD runs, Shantoto runs, Vane runs, Kefka finds a backpack full of camping equipment, Noctis runs, Bartz runs, Clive stays at the cornucopia for resources, Sephiroth runs, Vaughn severely injures a little bit, but puts him out of his misery. Well, I guess that's fine. I know nothing about this character, but I guess he's the first to go. Good job, Owen, even though I don't like you that much. Titus grabs a backpack and retreats. And yes, I'm going to call him Titus, because Titus is dumb. It really should have been Titus, because like, it's like tied as in water, and like that whole game has a water theme to it. Whatever. Arden finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Yishtola falls into a pit and dies. Oh my god. Well, I know it's massively popular, but... That's sorry, 14 people. They're the first to go, funnily enough. X-Death sets off an explosive killing jet. Sidon runs. Shadow Lord grabs a backpack and retreats. Cecil finds a bag full of explosives. Warrior of Light runs. Onion Knight gathers as much food as he can. Lightning strangles Furion with a rope. Wow, this has been really bloody really quickly. Caius runs. Golbez runs, Ultima runs, Ultimecia runs, Cloud runs, Garland snatches a pair of size, and Kuja runs. Day 1. Vaughn, Ultimecia, and Garland hunt for other tributes. Arden tries to spearfish with a trident. Onion Knight and Titus work together for the day. Cecil scares Clive off. Shadow Lord tries to spearfish with a trident. Sephiroth questions his sanity. Indeed he does. X-Death discovers a cave, which I hope is in Guido's cave. Caius overhears Noctis and Zidane talking in the distance. Cloud and Golbez fight Vane and Shantoto. Vane and Shantoto survive. Aww. Cloud and Golbez are some of my favorite characters. Man. Lightning chases the Warrior of Light. Kefka attacks the Emperor, but he manages to escape. Bartz receives Venical supplies. Cloud of Darkness and Squall hunt for other tributes. Kuja sprains his ankle while running away from Terra. And Ultima sees smoke rising in the distance, but decides not to investigate. Six cannon shots. Night 1. The Emperor and Shadow Lord tell stories about themselves to each other. Shantoto cooks her food before putting her fire out. 
Cecil quietly hums. Bond tracks down and kills Carlin. Wow, Bond's putting in work so far. Squall sees the fire but stays hidden. Clive kills Zidane as he tries to run. Ultima thinks about winning. Indeed he does. <laughs> Lightning receives an explosive. Cloud of Darkness begs for Caius to kill them. He refuses, keeping Cloud of Darkness alive. Noctis stays awake all night. Must be out hunting for the demons. X-Death screams for help. Sephiroth defeats Bart's in a fight but spares his life. Arden receives fresh food. Onion Knight defeats Ultimecia in a fight but spares her life. Kefka sets up camp for the night. Warrior of Light accidentally steps on a landmine. It's okay, he's from medieval knights and dragons. He wouldn't know what to look out for with that. Kujo loses sight of where he is. Titus looks at the night sky. And Bane throws a knife into Terra's head. Day 2. Squall, Ultimecia, and Cecil get into a fight. Cecil triumphantly kills them both. Let's go! My boy! He's gonna do it! Shantoto stalks the Shadow Lord. Bane throws a knife into Noctis' chest. Vaughn and the Emperor hunt for other tributes. Cloud of Darkness, Lightning, and X-Death hunt for other tributes. Sephiroth runs from Kuja. Arden runs from Titus. Caius steals from Ultima while they aren't looking. Onion Knight discovers a cave. Kefka defeats Bards but spares his life. Poor Bards, he just got beaten up so far. And Clive explores the arena. Seven cannon shots, wow. Going surprisingly fast. Night 2. Bards and Arden tell stories about themselves to each other. Clive, Onion Knight, Kefka, and Vaughn sleep in ships. Cecil, COD, Lightning, and the Shadow Lord tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Vane tries to sing himself to sleep. Xdeath and Kuja run into each other and decide a truce for the night. Titus quietly hums. The Emperor attempts to start a fire but is unsuccessful. I guess he never learned the fire spell, just Starfall. Shantoto taints Ultima's food, killing them. Huh. How about that? And Caius lets Sephiroth into his shelter. Day 3. The Emperor receives fresh food. Titus receives medical supplies. Sephiroth makes a slingshot. Arden goes hunting. Clive explores the arena. Some more, I guess. Vane tries to sleep through the entire day. Vaughn kills Cecil with a sickle. God damn it, Vaughn. This must be revenge for how much I dislike Final Fantasy XII. Someone please kill Vaughn though, he's up to three kills now. Bartz runs from COD. Lightning, the Shadow Lord, and Kefka start fighting, but Shadow Lord runs away as Lightning kills Kefka. Caius defeats X-Death in a fight, but spares his life. Shantoto diverts the Onion Knight's attention and runs. And Kuja picks flowers. Three cannon shots. Knight three. Sephiroth lets Titus into his shelter. Onion Knight tries to sing himself to sleep. Cloud of Darkness and Lightning tell stories about themselves to each other. Vane tends to his wounds. Caius receives fresh food. Arden lets X-Death into his shelter. The Emperor receives an explosive. Shadow Lord lets Barts into his shelter. Kuja receives a hatchet. And Vaughn, Clive, and Shantoto cheerfully sing songs together. Day 4. Vaughn and X-Death hunt for other tributes. Vane hunts for other tributes. Cloud of Darkness and Clive work together for the day. Arden diverts Shadow Lord's attention and runs. Barts discovers a river. Sephiroth searches for a water source, which Barts just found. The Emperor strangles Shantoto with a rope. Lightning tries to sleep through the entire day. Kuja receives clean water. The Onion Knight receives a hatchet. And Caius runs from Titus. Just one death. Night 4. Vaughn stays awake all night. Shadow Lord thinks about home. Bart cries himself to sleep. Aw, poor Bart. He's really had it rough this game. Titus screams for help. Kuja loses sight of where he is. Arden loses sight of where he is too. The Emperor goes to sleep. Bane receives fresh food. 
X-Death passes out from exhaustion. Cloud of Darkness and Clive run into each other and decide to truce. Sephiroth convinces Lightning to not kill him, only to kill her instead. Backstabbed. And Caius and Onionite talk about the tributes still alive. Day 5. X-Death receives fresh food. Clive is pricked by thorns while picking berries. Arden sprains his ankle while running away from Sephiroth. Kuja receives an explosive. Caius discovers a river. Fawn searches for a water source. Huh, kind of funny, a repeat of what happened just the day before. COD discovers a cave. Onionite attacks Shadow Lord, but Bart's protects him, killing Onionite. Oh hey, I haven't seen that interaction yet. The Emperor practices his archery. Titus sees smoke in the distance, but decides not to investigate. And Bane dies from thirst. Three cannon shots. Night 5. The Emperor tends to X Death's wounds. Arden is unable to start a fire and sleep without warmth. Bart sees a fire but stays hidden. Sephiroth sets off an explosive, killing Shadow Lord. Kuja convinces Titus to snuggle with him. Clive defeats Caius in a fight but spares his life. Cloud of Darkness tries to treat their infection. And Vaughn stays awake all night. The Feast. The Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's families. COD gathers as much food as they can into a bag before fleeing. Titus tracks down and kills Bart's. Arden kills the Emperor with a hatchet. Vaughn bashes Caius's head against a rock several times. What is with Vaughn in this game? Holy crap. Why is he just killing everyone? Who gave him a license for that? Clive doesn't go, x doesn't go, and Kuja strangles Sephiroth with a rope. Day 6. And to take a quick look at things, 2, 4, 6, we're only down to 7 players now. Kuja goes hunting. Clive defeats x in a fight, but spares his life. Arden receives an explosive. The Cloud of Darkness chases Titus. And Vaughn dies trying to escape the arena. Finally, put this man down after he killed one of my chosen winners. Six cannon shots. Six cannon shots for the last six survivors on night six. How appropriate. Clive dies from hunger. Titus and Arden tell stories about themselves to each other. COD tends to Kuja's wounds. And x -Death is awoken by nightmares. Day seven. Arden, Kuja, and X-Death track down and kill Titus. Ooh, Titus was actually the last hero alive, so like, those three villains work together to take down one of the last heroes. So it's gonna be a villain victory, whoever it is. And the Cloud of Darkness tries to sleep through the entire day. Two cannon shots. Night 7. COD tries to sing themselves to sleep. Kuja thinks about winning. Arden tries to treat his infection. And X-Death receives a hatchet. Day 8. Arden stabs Kuja while his back is turned. COD practices their archery. And X-Death tries to sleep through the entire day. One can shut. X-Death and Arden hold hands. Pretty interesting. And the Cloud of Darkness dies from an infection. So this is it. It's going to be X-Death or Arden. X-Death bashes Arden's head against a rock several times, meeting with those two cannon shots. The winner is X-Death of Final Fantasy V. Oh wow, I didn't notice. He got three kills overall? Wow. Arden coming in second with three kills as well. Here's Vaughn with his four. Wow, Shantoto got three. Well, at least my boy Seth still got two kills and made it decently far. I can't believe out of all these famous heroes and villains, they all lost to a tree. Ah, well. Thanks for watching, everybody. Join me back here for part 12, where, and this was done purely as coincidence, going from a Final Fantasy episode to what'll be a Disney episode next time. See you guys then.